I'm excited to share with you today my list of the top 50 things to do in Tampa. And it doesn't matter if you're visiting, relocating, or vacationing nearby, Tampa has something for everyone. And I was born and raised in Tampa, and the locals here always say, we live where others come to vacation. So stay with me because I'm sharing with you a pretty in-depth list of things to do in and around Tampa, including my 10 hidden gems that only the locals know about. And we're jumping into it right now. Welcome if you are new to me and new to my channel, I'm Adam Morjon and I make videos all about what it's like living in Tampa, Florida, covering the best neighborhoods and things to do. So if you can get a real feel for what it's like actually living here. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell because we have a ton of great content to share with you and you won't want to miss it. And if you're thinking of moving to Tampa, Florida, I am a licensed realtor, so see that number on the screen? Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email because my team and I would love to help you find the perfect home for you and your family. Recently, Zillow ranked Tampa as the number one hottest city that people were moving to in 2022, and for good reason. But why is Tampa such a hot spot? Yes, it has culture and diversity, and the weather is great, and on and on. But when it boils down to it, it's a great place to live or visit because of the endless things to do. Much of Florida is beautiful, but can be a little on the sleepy or slow-paced side of things. But Tampa arguably has the widest range of things to do and has a little something for everyone. If you want to press the gas, you can do that. And if you want to take your time and unwind, catch some of those Florida vibes, we have that too. I will categorize things so that you can skip around a little bit in this video to the topics that interest you. And please leave comments below so I want to hear some of the things that you love about Tampa and things to do. I always love hearing from the viewers. So without further ado, <laughs> I've got two kiddos and I always have to keep them girls busy, so I'm starting with Tampa's attractions and theme parks. Number one, Bush Gardens. It's the ultimate family theme park. It's over 300 acres of explorations from around the world. It's known for having some of the best roller coasters putting six flags to shame. It also has one of the best zoos with over 12,000 animals, a safari, live shows, restaurants, shops, and even a little carnival area with games for all those kiddos. Adventure Island. Just across the street from Bush Gardens, it's Adventure Island, Tampa's family fun in the sun water slide theme park. Race down the rapids or cool down in the wave pool, it's a good way to just beat that summer heat. The Florida Aquarium, 200,000 square feet of AC allows you to comfortably explore Florida's different ecosystems and learn about the 8,000 animals in house. My kids love getting up and close to the big fish, the eels, the sharks, and the alligators, but nothing makes them happier than trying to pet a stingray. Zoo Tampa at Laurie Park. Hands down, one of my kids' favorite attractions in Tampa is the zoo. Tons of animals, a kids' play area, themed events all year round, and don't miss out on feeding a giraffe or a rhino. Horsepower for kids. I told you I'd give you some local gems, and this is one of them. Petting zoos, playgrounds, pony rides, and tons of animals. The highlight to the zoo is that they have a Zors. That's right, it surprised me too. An actual zebra horse mix. Never heard of one until then. The Tampa Riverwalk. The Tampa Riverwalk is a great way to see some of Tampa's greatest attractions. With nearly two and a half miles, the Tampa Riverwalk pathway winds its way through shaded parks, under bridges, and over water, offering tons of things to do. The Riverwalk passes hotels with outdoor lounges, boat docks, river cruises, sports venues, museums, and vistas of local history. You'll see the old Tampa Bay Hotel, which is now the home to the University of Tampa, popular restaurants like Ulele and the Columbia Cafe, cultural stops like the Museum of Art, the Glazer Children's Museum, and the Tampa Bay History Center, and the um, Amelie Arena, which is home to our hockey team, the Tampa Bay Lightning. And if you're feeling a little parched, you'll find just the right mix of refreshments along the way. The open air sail pavilion, with a full bar located next to the Tampa Convention Center, is perfect to grab a cold beer, daiquiri, or bite to eat, and you can enjoy Sparkman's Wharf at the south end and Armature Works, a popular food hall, at the north end. Dinosaur World. See over 200 life-size dinosaurs, go gem mining, or dig for fossils. What kids don't like dinosaurs? The Epperson Crystal Lagoon. Head over to Wesley Chapel, a northern suburb of Tampa, and visit the nation's first man-made crystal lagoon. It's basically the largest pool you've ever seen, folks. At over seven acres in size and with crystal clear blue waters, there are endless ways for the whole family to enjoy the day at the lagoon. A day pass gives you access to the massive pool, including your visit to access to a tropical beach paradise, Slidezilla, the inflatable slide, 
family lawn games, beach toys, beach volleyball, and access to my favorite, the Tiki Hut Swim Up Bar. With Tampa's amazing weather, it nearly begs you to get outdoors and all year round, our calendar is packed with festivals, parades, and celebrations like these. The Gasparilla Parade. Taking place in late January, the parade follows the story of pirate Jose Gaspar, which terrorized the coastal Florida waters in the 18th and 19th centuries. Hundreds of locals follow the pirate ship in the bay by boat, and pirates invade Arr, the city, kicking lady. off a parade with nearly a million locals in attendance, cheering on floats with music, shooting off cannons, throwing beads to families. The week prior to this massive parade, there's also a calm down version for the kids, and my kids always set a countdown to Gasparilla season. The Strawberry Festival. The Florida Strawberry Festival is located in Plant City and it dates back to 1930. An annual 11 day family oriented event with strawberries prepared in any way you can imagine. Free daily attractions, carnival rides, headline music entertainment, an array of activities and a fun filled day for the entire family. Beer, Bourbon and Barbecue Festival, one of my personal favorites. You better get in that beer, sipping, barbecue, tasting music, listening, cigar smoking and bourbon tasting kind of mood because this festival is all day and packed with great music and over 60 types of beers and 40 types of bourbon to try. It's gonna be a good day. Margarita and Music Festival. Pretty much self-explanatory, but a ton of margaritas and music to keep you smiling and you know, it's Jimmy Buffett style. The Sunset Music Festival. Sometimes you can go slow, but this is pressing the gas with three days of sensory overload, electronic music with tons of partying. It's our summer music fest. Sugar Sand Festival. Many of you come to visit our beautiful beaches. Well, for a few weeks each year, we have sand artists that come to show off their talents for making sand castles, and they put them on display for the public to enjoy. Serious talent though. It's a good event for the entire family. The Tampa Bay Air Fest. Each year, the McDill Air Force Base located in South Tampa puts on a two-day event of high-flying air acrobatics, often including the Blue Angels. Best part, it's free to the public. Explore the outdoor, including a little bit of nature. Our beaches, we have some of the best beaches in the country in our backyard with St. Pete Beach and Clearwater Beach as two of the most popular. But there are around 10 other beaches equally as nice wedged in between. And a few of my favorites located a little south of us include Anna Maria Island and Siesta Key Beach. For those of you visiting, pamper yourself with a day pass at the Don Cesar Hotel in St. Pete Beach. You won't regret it. Explore the fort. Near St. Pete Beach is the Fort DeSoto Park where you can tour a Spanish-American War era fort, go shelling on the beaches, hike, bike, or bird watch. Great for a day out of exploring and everyone loves getting up and close with the cannons on the fort. Parks. If you like nature parks, visit the Hillsborough River State Park and check out the rapids from the trails or visit Alafaya State Park, home to over 17 miles of wild bike trails and over 20 miles of hiking and horse trails. The Tico Manatee Viewing Center. Check out the manatees as they congregate between November and April. There are displays and interactive exhibits to educate you on the Florida manatee. Go fish! If you like fishing, the Tampa Bay area has you covered. Freshwater ponds and lakes are fully stocked and saltwater fishing gives you endless options. Many prefer to visit one of our local piers like the Skyway Bridge to fish from, while I prefer to launch a kayak or wade through the flats for snook, redfish, and trout. If you have a boat, well, Tampa's pretty much your playground. Let's learn something new at Tampa's museums. Mosey. Tampa Museum of Science and Industry allows kids to explore the moon, lie on a bed of nails, be an engineer for a day. Science can be fun, you know? Glazer's Children's Museum. The museum is designed to inspire learning through innovative play. My three-year-old, her favorite is going to the Publix area and pretending that she can shop for groceries and she can be a, just a grocery shopper for a day. And my seven-year-old was over the moon when we made paper airplanes, then got to test them out by their flying skills by putting them in a little machine that launches them. The Tampa Bay History Museum features three floors of exhibits taking you through centuries of Florida's history. You can hit the high seas with the conquistadors and the pirates, stroll through the brick streets of Ybor City with Cuban cigar rollers, or saddle up with the cattle drive from the Florida pioneers. The Dolly Museum, a staple in nearby St. Pete. This museum highlights the unparalleled collection of works by the renowned artist Salvador Dali. After, you can explore the gardens and grab a bite to eat in the Spanish cafe. Check out the sports calendar. Go to a game. Tampa has four pro teams, including the Tampa Bay Bucks, Tampa Bay Lightning Hockey, the Tampa Bay Rays baseball team, and our Tampa Bay Rowdies soccer team. We also have the New York Yankees and the Phillies that play spring training ball right here, and USF College Football, which we do play some pretty big schools, so good games. How about some nightlife and entertainment? The Seminole Hard Rock Casino. Feeling a little lucky? 
Last I checked, the Hard Rock Casino is the fifth largest casino in the country and offers a perfect weekend getaway for fun, sun, or relaxing time away. Explore the luxurious spa, fine dining, three pools, shops, and tons of gambling. I like betting here and there, but nothing better than enjoying a steak at Council Oak and listening to some live music. The Straz. If musicals are your thing, the Straz Center for the Performing Arts is where you will find it. It's known for showcasing world-class entertainment, ranging from lavish Broadway shows and classical music to rock concerts in the Circus Soleil. It is the largest facility of its kind in the southeastern United States. Centro Ybor, located in the historic Ybor City, is where entertainment happens. Featuring AMC Classic 10 Cinemas, the Tampa Improv, and Game Time Entertainment Center, the center has over a dozen restaurants, bars with a wide range of offerings from fine dining to brew pubs, all while enjoying the front row to the historic Ybor City. Soho Crawl. Soho, short for South Howard Avenue, is a strip of restaurants, bars, and pubs stretched over a couple of blocks located in South Tampa. You better lace them shoes up though because after dark, this place cranks up. Get tickets to a concert. There are outdoor concert series popping up all around the town all year long, but the permanent venues that bring in the big acts are the Amelie Arena in downtown, the Raymond James Stadium, and the Mid-Florida Credit Union Amphitheater, and a local favorite, Janice Live. What about golfing? There are 19 golf courses in Tampa and another 61 within 20 miles of Tampa. Absolute madness, so here's a few. TPC Tampa Bay, this golf course is stunning and has some very long tees. And why not play Cheval right next door while you're there? West Chase Golf Course. I put this on the list as I think it's one of the prettiest courses as it's well kept and honestly, one of the most challenging as there's many twists and turns and a bunch of hazards. Top Golf. Not a big time golfer? I'm not, so don't worry. Head to Top Golf and have some fun with friends on the rooftop terrace while having some drinks and hitting some balls. So how's that shopping you ask? In the city, try out the International Plaza offering 200 stores with everything from Louis Vuitton to Apple or the High Park Village for more of your local quaint and quiet boutique shopping. In the Burbs, and more specifically Wesley Chapel, you will find shops at Wiregrass and the Tampa Premium Outlets as shopping hubs worth that trip. Talk to me about those restaurants. The list here is endless, but some not to be missed options. Steakhouses, Burns Steakhouse and Council Oak have to be my top two, but some would also throw in Charlie's, Fleming's, Capitol Grill, and if you want old school, Malio's, throw that in the mix. Best breweries, Cigar City, Copper Tail, Angry Chair, and while not top tier, I do enjoy you lately because of the location on the Riverwalk and the great water views. Great coffee, Buddy Brew, Blind Tiger, and my go-to is La Segunda Bakery in South Tampa, hands down the best cafe con leche and Cuban toast. Good seafood, Ocean Prime is great for a date night and for a casual option, Big Ray's Fish Camp on the Riverwalk. I also have to toss in Salt Rock Grill on Indian Rocks Beach because they catch it and they cook it, so there's nothing fresher. Brunch? My wife's favorite is Dats, and for a nice setting, I would have to say Oxford Exchange is a nice variable to throw in. Best date night? Ciro's Speak Easy is great for a quiet and close setting, and honestly, my wife and I love just walking the entire two and a half miles on the Riverwalk, starting at Sparkman's Wharf and ending at Armature Works and just grabbing adult beverages along the way and just stopping to take in the views of the city and listen to music as there are some pop-ups along the way. Okay, so I'm wrapping up the last 10 with a variety of local hidden gems that will have no rhyme or reason to them, but definitely off the beaten path and should be on your Tampa bucket list. Parksdale Market, where strawberries are king. Florida is huge on citrus farms and Parksdale is king in the area. My favorite is a simple strawberry shake, but my kids go nuts for the strawberry shortcake. It doesn't get fresher or sweeter than these strawberries. Anclo Key, just off the coast of Tarpon Springs to the northwest of Tampa, you will find Anclo Key and more specifically the North Anclo Sandbar, which is a tiny sandbar and party island, only accessible by boat that is absolutely paradise. Locals take boats and jet skis out there and just live it up in the waist high crystal clear water. Honestly, you kind of think you're in the Caribbean. Keel and Curly Winery. It's not Napa Valley, but it is a fun winery and brewery with decent food, live music, and when in season, my kids love to stop by for you pick them blueberries. The cheapest good Cuban cafe. A staple in Tampa, and I mean staple, is West Tampa Sandwich Shop. Every president since Bush has stopped here during their election campaigns. Bush, Obama named a sandwich there, even Trump stopped by afterwards. Just simple, affordable food and tons of locals with great stories. Shark teeth hunting. Take a day trip to Venice Beach. 
the shark teeth capital. Last trip, my girls found 41 shark teeth in an hour. After your first find, you will absolutely be hooked. Wikiwachi. Meet the mermaids at Wikiwachi Springs or rent a canoe and float down the crystal clear springs. But here's a local tip. Launch your canoe from upstream so it's an enjoyable, just nice, easy float down the spring. So many people launch downstream and paddle up. I just don't get it. Pasa Grill Beach. Beat the crowds that flood to St. Pete Beach and get there by around 9 a.m. Park at the metered parking across from the restaurants. You'll be in paradise with a slower paced beach and restaurants just right across the street at your fingertips. Burns Dessert Room. Now I know I mentioned Burns as the top steakhouse, but I've been there just for dessert. Their bananas foster and trust me on this, their macadamia nut ice cream made in house is by far the best thing you've ever tasted and it's their pride and joy. Tarpon Springs Sponge Docks. Get transported into Greece. Everything here is Greek and it's fun to walk around the sponge docks as the boats bring in the nets full of sponges. And as a family, we just like to walk around the shops and there are some decent local restaurants all bunched in a tight little area. Light up a cigar. Tampa's Ybor City was one of the biggest producers of hand-rolled cigars in the world. And every now and then it's nice to enjoy some history in Ybor City and grab a cigar and unwind on the day. The brick lined streets will definitely take you back in time. Now I hope you enjoyed my top 50 list and if you're looking to move to Tampa, Florida and want to know more about the best neighborhoods and really get a good feel for what it's like living here, make sure to check out my channel Tampa, Florida Living. And if you're searching where to live, see that number on the screen, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email because my team and I would love to help you find your next home. Until that next video, I'll catch you later.